Hello YouTube, it's Mark from Spending Wages here and today I'm going to be showing you how to record content from your PS3 onto a Mac, such as a MacBook, MacBook Pro, iMac, etc. Using a HD PVR from Hapage and some software from Elgato called ITV3. So starting with the PS3 Go ahead and turn it around and let's plug in the power cable, the Sony AV component cable, the HDMI cable and the internet cable. This is what it looks like from the top. And now onto the PVR. Go ahead and turn it around and plug in the power cable, the USB cable and the component cable from the PlayStation. This is what it looks like from the top. Only the component cable connecting the two. Now onto the other component cable. Go back to the PVR and plug that into the top section. And this is a view of everything plugged in. Now to your TV, I have a Panasonic. Here is my component and HDMI section. Plug in component cable from PVR and the HDMI cable from the PlayStation. There is only one cable again between the two. Now get your TV remote and select the appropriate HDMI channel. Now when you get to the PlayStation Home, go across to Settings and down to Display Settings. Like so. Then select the first option, Video Output Settings and change from HDMI to Component. Yes, you want to change. Now go ahead and grab your remote again and change to the appropriate component channel. Like so. Now make sure that your PVR is turned on. Yes, you want to accept this setting and select 576p and 720p only. Like so. Then proceed. And what will happen is the screen will flicker about, there will be no signal, and hopefully, fingers crossed, you should get this screen. Yes, you want to select this. I'm going to get 720p on component. Press the X button to save settings. Yes. Now you want to set the audio output settings. Do not go on to finish. Change that from whatever whatever you had it on and make sure that it is on input connector audio input connector like so and again press the X button to save and that's it now go to your Mac I'm using an iMac and install the ITV3 software as normal once this is done this is the screen you will see ITV setup assistant so hit next and then you want to select your country. I'm in the UK, so I'll go with the UK. Choose the manufacturer. I'm going to go down to Hapage. And then HD PVR. And hit next. Here you can put in your name, your company, and the activation key that you get with the software. Mine's already filled in. Hit next. This, you want to keep this on component and you want the audio on the RCA analog rear. Do not touch the optical. Next, you now want to enable the ring light and you can leave that off the audio boost and make sure that you keep that on NTSC. Signal format. And again, hit next. And now the setup assistant will ask you to connect the PVR via the USB cable. So go ahead and grab the USB cable from the PVR and plug it into the USB section on your Mac. Like so. Always a good idea to restart the PVR at this stage. A component input screen should show itself, like so. And the setup assistant will now allow you to proceed. 
so we hit the next button and again you can hit next again and again you don't need to worry about those two screens and finally finish and there you go you've got the component input this should be showing your PlayStation in my case it is showing the home screen I'm just moving along there with the controller and you can see that it is coming through onto my Mac so so far so good we can now actually close this screen um, and from here on in uh, this this video is also applicable to Xbox 360 users now the most important thing or one of is to check for updates it is only recently that we have been able to start using ITV3 because we have a newer version of the HD PVR and certain batch numbers were not compatible with ITV3 until about a month and a half ago when ITV3 or Elgato released a patch update that resolved the issue. So the most important thing is to check for updates and also reset the PVR from time to time. Turn it off and on. Um, because it is very temperamental or it can be. Now this in front of you is the ITV application. It is really easy to use. There is not much to it at all. Uh, in there you can see a live recording from the 2nd of June that was just something I did as a test because like I said we're still getting used to it ourselves and again I'm just going to check for updates um, as you can see I am up to date so really important that you do that and also turn the PVR off and on right let's go through some preferences um, there is the setup assistant that we had before so we don't need to go through that again and we can close that that's just to show you how to get back onto that screen. So, preferences. Really easy to use. Um, I'll just take you through some of these now. In fact, you don't have to change very much, if anything. General, um, this is all standard stuff. It's all default. I'm, I'm not going to change anything in here. Now you've got recording. Again, it is up to you, but... I'm not going to touch anything in here. You may want to change the location or the, the buffer. You've got the customize jump times. Again, I'm not going to touch anything. The guide, I'm not also going to touch anything in here. Display, again, it's up to you through trial and error. If you want to have a test, if you want to mess about in there, then go ahead. I'm not going to touch anything. Full screen, again, I'm going to leave that out. There's nothing in there. Sharing, I'm not going to bother with that either. No. And you've got iPhone, that's the next tab. Again, I'm not going to touch that. And sound, again, I'm just going to leave that as it is. And devices, Apache HD PVR, encoding, and make sure that that is on the best. Picture and info, you can leave that as it is. And that's it for preferences. And I want you to go up to window and I want you to show controller and this is how you control the ITV3 software click that button on the left and it will bring up the component input screen now on here we can just also run through some settings on details no forget that not details it is uh, more go down to more hit more and these and you've got some stuff in there but you want to go on to the settings aspect ratio ours is at 16 to 9 and closed captions you can leave that display options overscan again many of these things in here are going to be default so just just run through and make sure that they are the same as what we have got AAC, system sound output, onto controls, leave that as it is, sort order, again it's up to you, and favourite channels. So that is really it when it comes to the settings and the preferences of ITV3. Really easy, but at times it's just going to be a case of you trying what works and what doesn't work and um, let's go ahead and record some content if you hit the the red button in the center of the controller 
and I'm just moving about on my PlayStation home screen with the PS3 controller. As you can see, the time is ticking along. 14, right, we can stop that now. And that file should drop into the application. There you go, 5th of June, live recording, close that. One of the early problems we had was with the signal format, you can either select NTSC or PAL, and being in the UK, we selected PAL, but for some reason that did not provide a very good quality, so things don't look too good. The first tip or first bit of advice to you would be to go back and have a look at your signal format. Um, as you can see, I've just hidden the, the, the controller, and I've now double-clicked on the file that we have just recorded, and it has opened up and it is looking pretty good. So the next thing to do would be to export this file. If you right click and go down to export, like so, and you wanna save that and pick a location. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it as, I don't know, please subscribe to us. Choose your location and select the format. This is again another important point. There are many, many formats that ITV will allow you to export to. Um, an awful lot, actually. I mean, you might jump at MPEG4 or QuickTime Movie. It is up to you. It is up to you what you know, what you go with. But we're going to stick with HD 720p. And then hit save and that will export and because it is only 16 seconds it has exported really really quickly and there you go there is the mp4 please subscribe to us double click on that and quick time has opened it up hit play hide the controls and as you can see there's the movie and it looks pretty good at 720p but again if you find another setting that works for you then go ahead like I said, a lot of this is down to trial and error. So we can now close that. It is up to you what you do with the MP4. Technically, you could upload it straight away to YouTube, but we edit all of our movies in iMovie, add commentaries, and make them look a bit better. Finalize them, and then share them with YouTube. That's all there is to it. I hope you're happy, I'm happy. It took a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna take, but it is hard to condense all of those steps into just a few minutes. If you get stuck, send me a message, comment on the video, you know, but have a go. Test yourself, see what you can do, see what works, see what doesn't work. You may also be interested in two of our other videos. One is called How to Edit Gameplay in iMovie, and the other is HD PVR Setup for PS3. I hope this video has served a purpose. If it has, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, favorite it, and it would be great to see some new subscribers. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Take care.